Hi everyone. Well, it's still July 27, 2018. Anybody who wants to leave, you know, a nice, loving, supportive comment, I could really use it right now. I know I'm not supposed to be sounding like this, but I am like this, so I, uh, just too much is going on. And tonight is hard. Homes were exploding. Residents had little warning as the fire, as the fire <coughs> roared through neighborhoods overnight. Those racing to evacuate found roads completely jammed amid thick smoke and towering flames. Retired hotshot Tom Man Mayan helped save a friend's home. Homes were exploding. Cars were exploding. And I have a wife and kids. And I better FaceTime my wife just in case. Homes were exploding. Cars were exploding. This is a live uh, broadcast of Agenda Free TV. Car fire threatens Reddy, uh, Redding, California. I don't know where he's getting his news, his information from. When I was listening to it just a few minutes ago, I heard him say the entire city of Reading is being evacuated. The entire city. And he said that the fire was racing towards the entire city. Now, Reading, it might be the county of Reading, if there is a county, Reading. But I think the population is about 90,000. And they only have this fire 3% contained. 3% contained. Um, here's another live. I'm, I'm passing this information along. I will link below to everything. So if you want to watch a live broadcast live from a local TV news station, I will link below. I was just watching this woman drive through the streets and she's pointing out okay and says this this house got hit but as you can see all of the foliage all of the all of the uh, vegetation all of the trees the bushes are intact like nothing happened but the homes one home you will see completely and utterly destroyed. Then you'll see a home next to it, and it's standing untouched. This is not a normal wild fire. I also want to point out that this I saw last night. It's here again tonight. A harp next ride ring, ultra low frequencies. This, I believe, is the Vandenberg um, Vandenberg Air Force Base. Now, when they can create tornadoes, when you have these harp next ride rings, they can. These things can create a lot of damage. And I am wondering if it can also create a lot of wind. Wind. You know, those fire nados that they're seeing with these fires. I will link below to these two Twitter pages that I'm going to show you. And if you know anybody in this area, you, and, and they might not know about this Twitter page. The car fire, I think it's hashtag car fire. A lot of people 
you know, I love seeing this. A lot of people are saying, look, if you need a place, you know, I have a bedroom, you can bring your pets, you can, and they're just putting it out on Twitter, ready to open their home to strangers. Um, and here, if anyone has a loved one transferred to St. Francis Memorial Burn Unit in San Francisco and needs support, DM me. I don't know what DM is. I can give you floor space along with any pets and can help drive you back and forth. Um, what is happening? I heard a news reporter today say there are 88 wildfires in the United States alone. And certainly the car fire is the one that's exploding. Um, so this is the first time I've seen a fire take out a large populated area especially in California in the last few years. Well, I guess you weren't around for the Santa Rosa fire and, well, all of the fires last year. I think Santa Rosa is pretty populated. You know, when you think about how these people had no time and they just had to leave. How many, how many animals were stuck in this fire? I'm going to end with reading something that's very sad and I want to thank my subscriber for sending along these Twitter pages. In fact, let me find the uh, Governor Brown. After declaring a state of emergency for Shasta County yesterday, he requests presidential emergency declaration for direct federal assistance for car fire. Supplemental federal assistance is necessary to save lives and to protect property, public health, and safety, and to lessen the effects of this imminent catastrophe, I am requesting direct federal assistance, including Department of Defense, air assets, to immediately mitigate the impacts of this fire. Why did we not see the Department of Defense air assets? Why are we not seeing? Well, we all know that they can create rain and they don't. They let these fires burn. It, this is really, I just never ever believed I would be living what I'm living today. I, I just, but here, Jerry Brown is asking for the Department of Defense air assets to immediately mitigate the impacts of this fire. Okay. If I missed something during the Santa Rosa fire last year, the other fires that were taking place in Southern California, why? If I did miss it, please link below to a Jerry Brown either tweeting or the actual uh, declaration for Department of Defense assistance. I could have missed it, but I don't think I did. And that's outrageous. It's outrageous. And I would think that those who had their homes leveled in Santa Rosa and other fires, if they saw this, they must be shaking their head thinking, why didn't why didn't you ask for Department of Defense air has air assets 
to help save my home last year. Thank you, Gov. This will start the wheels turning for federal firefighting help, as well as FEMA and other agencies to help begin the slow recovery process. Whirling Dervish. Um, well, if you want to feel a bit uplifted, just go through these tweets and see all of the people who are reaching out and anybody who has horses. You know, I would think that these people, they had to evacuate so quickly. And uh, there are many areas that they can't now get back into. So, three hours ago. Why aren't these in order? Nine hours ago, three hours ago, uh, three hours ago, four hours ago, three, two, eight hours ago. So, converting the Grant Center at Simpson into the Evacuee Center. Also, um, SU stepping up to share dorm space for firefighters and police. Please circulate this information. There, there must be. When you look at the, the numbers, I, well, I posted a video, there was 37,363 having to evacuate. It was a mandatory evacuation. I'm sure there's a lot of people who are like in shock, when you're in shock, you have great difficulty thinking clearly. But an awful lot of people who may just not have any place to go. And to tell you the truth, I don't. I've never. I I don't tweet. You know, I don't go on Twitter. So, I'm sure there's a lot of people who just wouldn't even think to go look at Twitter. To those evacuating, even though I don't personally live in the area, my family does, let me know if you need a place to stay or a place to put large animals and livestock. Have room down in Cottonwood for large animals and people with RV or travel trailers. So. Yeah, there's a missing persons outline. Here another one. If there's anything I can do to help, she lives in Washington State, please let me know. I have a home available as well as clothes. Well, I am going to read this. And It's heartbreaking. I'm asking for prayers, whether you are praying, whether you are a praying person or not. One of the cooks at our restaurant may have lost his grandmother, Melanie Garcia Bledsoe. I don't know if that's the correct pronunciation. And two nephews. She was babysitting her two grandsons, four and six, up in a trailer on Keswick and called begging for someone to help them evacuate. But traffic on I-5 was so bad they couldn't get there fast enough and the roads were closed. As of today, they can't find them in any evacuation centers and the trailer and the trailer has been completely destroyed by fire. He is at the restaurant crying and trying to get up there to sift through the ashes Please, if you are at an evacuation center or centers and see an elderly woman with two small boys from Keswick area, let me know. The neighbor thinks they didn't make it out because they went back to try to help them and said the flames were too high and they had to turn back. I just literally cannot stop crying. Please pray. This is so 
sad. It is very sad. And when you realize how deliberate all of this is, well, That, just in this one area, a tremendous amount of life has been burned to death. So if any of you are in this area, whatever it is that you can do to lend a hand to people, that would really be great. And please circulate these pages um, yeah alright all links are below